actor and the and many of the cast members from Clue on Stage at Meadowbrook Theater. We're pleased to be joined now from left to right by director Travis Walter and actors Gregory James, Chris Stinson, and Olivia Ursu with us on the Megacast. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Appreciate having you on. So let's start with you, uh, Travis. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they go to Meadowbrook Brook Theater to see Clue on Stage. Awesome. Well, Clue on Stage is so much fun. If you've ever played the board game, if you've ever seen the movie, or if you know nothing about Clue, it is just such a fun show. It is a murder mystery. There's, uh, we'll say there's some interesting things that happen. We have a, a, a group of suspects who all gather together for a dinner party. And uh, let's just say things get a little messy. But there, uh, don't worry if, if you're not into super mysteries or horror or anything like that. It's a very fun show. There is a lot of comic elements to the show. Uh, it's very family friendly. And I think people are just going to really enjoy trying to figure out who did the murder, with what, and, uh, you know, in which room. So in, in this uh, iteration of Clue, being that is a stage play, uh, and each person has a specific character, and they're playing that character uh, on any given night that they're on the stage, it's a little bit different from the board game uh, in, in that sense. So uh, is there a variety to this show and, and each different performance kind of similar to uh, the board game that I, I would say would probably be the most recognizable uh, iteration of Clue? Yeah, I think that you know when you when you get actors to embody these characters that we've all that we've all played with, uh, you get there is there's a bit of variation. There's there's the characters you know and love that you read about when you played the board game and or you read their dossiers and things. But it's so wonderful to have uh, live actors actually embody these characters. They can bring to it not only the humor that is in the show itself that has been written, but also in their mannerisms, uh, the way that they say a line can change uh, nightly sometimes. <laughs> it shouldn't, but it can. Uh -oh. uh, and uh, it's and also I always say that the audience is the final character in the show. So when you add an audience, uh, the rhythm of the show changes just a little bit. The laughter happens in different places and that encourages the actors or, or enhances the experience to, to make it just slightly different. You may end up wanting to see the show a couple times just to see just to see how things end up. We're joined by uh, the director, Travis Walter, and many of the cast members from Clue on Stage over at Meadowbrook Theater. That is running now through November 7th uh, at, at Meadowbrook Theater. Of course, that is at 378 uh, Meadowbrook Road in Rochester, Michigan, uh, where you can see that show. And so we're joined by Gregory James, Chris Stinson, and Olivia Ursu as well, who are actors in the show. And uh, for each of you, coming back to the stage, is this uh, your first show back uh, acting on, on stage in person uh, since the pandemic, or have you acted in other shows as well since uh, theaters have started to reopen? Yeah, it, it is it is my first back uh, on stage uh, since the pandemic. Uh, it's been almost almost exactly two years, which uh, is pretty crazy. Uh, and uh, having our previews this week has really been a joy to be out there in front of people and hearing audience laughter, uh, which there is a lot of in this show. It just felt so alive and just so refreshing after so long a period of time. Yeah, my, uh, the last show I was a part of, uh, we got shut down about a week before we were going to open. So, uh, yeah, it's been just like Chris said, just about two years, you know, doing little things online, you know, filming things in, in your home or apartment. But, uh, yeah, having, having that energy of the live audience, even being in the room rehearsing uh, is such a different beast. Once you add that last character, like Travis said, that, that, that audience, everything just kind of changes, and it, it feels like things are finally coming back in such a good way. Uh, I was lucky enough to do a production of Grease this summer. So that was my first show back, and it was very emotional. Just um, coming together with uh, create other creative people, it was something that I know we've all really missed. So it was beautiful. And so for you, uh, for, for you, Gregory and, and Chris, uh, having this be your first show back, uh, in person uh, and being that it is such a, a recognizable show like Clue, but on top of that, that it is uh, that it has so, such comical elements to it. Does that enhance the experience too? Because comedy is one of those uh, genres 
uh, especially in theater, that really garners a great reaction consistently from the audience. And, and that audience is something you haven't been able as an actor to feed off of, at least not in the traditional way, while you've been acting during the pandemic. Yeah, um, <clears throat> well, I think the, the biggest thing is, you know, yes, you might get a consistent reaction of people enjoying the show, but the rhythms changing night to night, where the laughs are, how long they're going to be. I mean, you have to be on your toes the whole time. And to, to your point of, um, you know, kind of being able to change characters or whatever, I think the great thing about comedy is you kind of have to know everybody else's lines almost as well as yours so that the rhythms never stop so i mean i would love to play mr green at some point if you want to swap it you know yeah, yeah, we'll try that out. yeah I, feel, I feel tempted to do a british accent sometimes yeah. just because i i know what he's about to say as, as well as yeah no it's uh that is the the joy of the preview uh, previews that we're in right now is uh hearing if the audience thinks certain things are as funny as we think they are, uh, or surprisingly, uh, what gets laughs um, is, is a joy, and that uh, that live element is something that that is missed, has been missed, and is so wonderful to be immersed back into. Um, and uh, but it, it is uh, a show that just flies. You know, it's uh, you know under ninety minutes. Uh, it is a whirlwind. Uh, so we are kind of shot out of a cannon. Um, to do the show right, and then we get all these wonderful, this wonderful feedback from the audience too. So it's, it's a joy to to be back and doing a show like this at a time where I think you know, everybody could everybody could use a laugh. So yeah. And Clue on Stage runs now through November seventh at Meadowbrook Theater. Uh, where you can where you can see it, it is uh, of course based on the the popular Hasbro game as well as the Paramount Pictures uh, movie as well. And uh, again, we're joined by director Travis Walter as well as cast members Gregory Ch James, Chris Stinson, and Olivia Ursu. And so, Olivia, for you, uh, this is not your first show back in person. As you mentioned earlier, uh, you performed in a production of Grease as well. So for you having seen two different productions, because every production is different, it's directed differently, the cast has a different dynamic, it's of course a different show with different characters, it can be a different drama, and so on and so forth. For you, having this be your second show back, what have you noticed in your experiences, uh, both through Grease and through Clue on Stage, has changed in the way that um, performing stage plays as, a, as an ensemble cast and, and just in general uh, in preparation and audition and performance, how has it changed from before the pandemic, if at all? Sure. Uh, well, almost all auditions at this time are taking place online through video submissions. Um, so both, both jobs that I, Grease and um, Clue, are, they were video auditions. So that's, that's pretty different. And I think that that's kind of the way that the industry is moving. Um, probably that's something that will stay. And um, for Clue, it was interesting. We rehearsed in masks. So um, we're, we're on Oakland University's campus and that's part of their protocol is everybody is to be masked inside. And so um, that was, it was very interesting kind of to try to emote such a uh, physical show without the bottom half of your face. So yeah. it was <laughs> a lot of eye acting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're joined by Travis Walter, the director of Clue on Stage at the Meadowbrook Theater, as well as Gregory James, uh, Chris Stinson, and Olivia Ursu with us on the Megacast. If you're just tuning in, you'll be able to see this entire interview on demand on our website at civiccentertv.com slash megacast later on in the day. And so uh, Travis, as a, direct, as a director of this show, um, coming back to uh, an, an in-person experience on the stage uh, for, your, for your actors and for you as a director, what in, in your perspective has changed from before the pandemic in the way that you approach directing a show and in the way that uh, actors and crew approach performing a show as well? Yeah, I, I, I would like to start by saying anxiety. <laughs> the, the level of anxiety in doing what you do, because um, a lot of people, you know, they come see a show, they support the theater, it's really wonderful, and they think, oh, these students did such a great job. Uh, but, but because we are a professional theater, these are, these are not students, these are professionals, this is, this is their actual career. So everyone who works at the theater, uh, this is their livelihood. So what, 
there's always this fear of, you know, will we be shut down again? What kind of protocols do we need to do to keep everyone safe? And I think in this show in particular, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of spit takes that, you know, some of them we like, you know what? I, in a time of COVID, maybe we shouldn't do spit takes. Let's see if there's something else we can do uh, to make sure that we're not uh, endangering each other. Uh, there's also, we follow uh, Actors Equity Association, that's the union for the um, actors. Uh, we follow their guidelines, and so we are testing all of the actors three times a week uh, for COVID. We also have to leave the first row of the audience empty so that there's a, a distance between the audience and the actors. So again, we're trying to keep the actors safe. We're trying to keep the audience safe uh, so that hopefully uh, we can we can all continue to do this all season long. But yeah, I think just the anxiety of having all of those thoughts in the back of your head at the same time while you're trying to put together this really wonderful presentation for the audience and you, where normally you would just take things for granted. You know, and, and, and now there's all of these other levels of, of uh, uh, health and safety that you have to take into effect. We're joined by the director of Clue on Stage at the Meadowbrook Theater, Travis Walter, as well as Gregory James, who plays Wadsworth, Chris Stinson, who plays Mr. Green, and Olivia Ursu, who plays Yvette. You can see uh, uh, Clue on Stage at the Meadowbrook Theater now through November 7th. Learn more information by going to MB Theater, uh, that is theater with, a, with T R E, spelled T R E at the end, mbtheater.com, and select Clue on Stage. You can also get tickets by calling the Rock's office at 248-377-3300. Again, that's 248-377-3300. Uh, and so, uh, Travis, for those that may be attending, uh, it's gonna be different for, from one theater versus another. What are some of the uh, precautions that are in place, the uh, requirements for precautions in place for the audience attending? Obviously, you mentioned that they won't be in the first couple of rows, but beyond that, uh, are masks required? Is there uh, vaccination proof that's required and so on? So at this time, masks are required, uh, and they're required not only to enter the building, uh, but also to be worn during and throughout the show. Uh, we do not have a vaccine mandate at this time, but obviously we are, you know, going with all of the different guidances. It, that could be changing, so we'll always say watch the website. It's right on the front of our website, all the precautions. We do have, the university has updated the HVAC system, so the air exchange and, and uh, is, is much better. It's all, it's all to the new standards. Uh, we also have, there's hand sanitizing stations in the lobby. There's uh, ticket lists, uh, or um, uh, touchless ticketing, I guess. So we can actually scan your tickets now so that you don't have to, um, you don't have to give them to an usher and then the usher give them back to you so you no one has to touch the same things. The playbills are set out so that people can grab them themselves. You will not be handed one. Uh, so we're trying to, we're, we're trying to do all of the things, <laughs> but definitely masks are, are the big thing for the audience. Wear your mask. Uh, and enjoy the show. It's, it's, I always say, you know, thank you for supporting us by coming in and thank you for continuing to support us by wearing your mask throughout the show. Yeah, we, and you can continue to support them by also going to the show now through November 7th at Meadowbrook Theater. You can see Clue on stage. Uh, again, learn more information by, call, by uh, visiting mbtheater.com. Uh, before we, we go, anything else uh, that would be interesting for us to know or important for us to know that we haven't talked about today from any of the four of you? Well, I think, and this is, I'm just gonna put someone on the spot right now, but because live theater is different every night because it, you know, you're trying to remember lines and things like this, and there's previews and rooms moving and all this kind of stuff. Chris actually forgot his character's name last night. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't you, Chris? No, forgetting would mean I would never have found it. <laughs> found it. You misplaced it. Had to look around. I misplace it. Uh, when you see the show, you'll see how fast we're moving, and sometimes you just need to take a breath. And hey, who am? That's what it was. It was taking a breath. It's but he was amazing. It was. It was very fantastic. He took a philosophical approach to it. Who really it am I? <laughs> Yes. in this show and in life. We're joined by Travis Walter, Gregory James, Chris Stinson, and Olivia Ursu from Clue on Stage at Meadowbrook Theater. Again, you can view that show now through November 7th uh, and uh, learn more information and purchase tickets at mbtheater.com. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.